Hi, I'm Chuck, KK6USY. Welcome to Ham Radio Adventures. Today we're going to take a look at a battery from Power Queen. What we're going to do is we're going to unbox it, we're going to look, take a look at its specs, and then we're going to do a capacity test. So let's check it out. First, I'd like to thank the good folks over at Power Queen for sending this battery to me for testing and, and evaluation. Now, that being said, all the opinions are my own. They did not tell me what to put in the video, and they did not ask to see my video beforehand before I actually posted it on YouTube. All right, let's unbox this thing and see what's inside. It comes in a nice brown box here. It actually has their, their name and everything on it. And I've already taken this stuff out, so you guys, uh, just to make it a little quicker, it comes with this nice uh, plastic bag with all the information for the battery in it. In the bag also comes some stickers. And a quick start guide with two sides. And it also comes with a manual. The manual is very well written. A lot of information in here, guys. If you're not sure what you're doing, make sure you read it. And if that doesn't help, make sure you contact them. All right, let's look inside. So in the box, we have uh, this little bag here. This comes with the eight millimeter bolts that go into the top. Also, they have uh, plastic covers usually, uh, one red, one black, to put on top of the bolts after you get done installing it. That way, hopefully you won't short something out, okay? Comes with this nice foam. Let me uh, let me actually tilt this over to this camera. There's way, and as you'll notice in this box, there's quite a bit of space around the edges, so that if it gets hit, it won't be damaged in the shipping. So I'll actually take another look at that also. Let me put these down here, and so we'll do the same thing here again. It should hold it. So there's about an oh, inch and a half to two inches around the batter that's just airspace with that foam in there. So let's pull it out. I already took it out of the plastic bag and we'll set it down here. We'll take this stuff and put it in the box and save it for later. All right, as you can see, it has a nice uh, little handle here for lifting it. This thing is really light, guys, and it's pretty small. We'll talk about all that later. Uh, this handle is actually removable if you want to take it off for uh, once you install the battery. So. There we go. Now, here's a picture of the front of it. I'll do it for this camera too. We'll see which one comes out better. This is the LifePo 4 Mini, 12.8, 100 amp hour, and it's the Premium 2. So this is the newer version, I guess. I guess they had an earlier version uh, before this version, so this is the newer version. Now, I will say that this, uh, they also told me this is a 95% battery, 95% new. What I think this has been a battery that's been sent out to other YouTubers or evaluators to test the battery. So it's not exactly brand new, but close and it should pass the test. If you guys haven't seen my video, I've got one on a 300 amp hour that I purchased myself and I'll put that down in the uh, description below. And so you can go check that one out. It tested very well. I expect this one to do the same. So let's go over and talk about this and see what this battery has to offer and what the claims are. All right, let's get started. The uh, Power Queen Mini 2 Premium is a 100 amp hour, 12.8 volt lithium battery. Now that's a LiPo 4, and it has a 100 amp uh, BMS, which is a battery management system built in. So you should be able to draw 100 amps from this battery with no problems. We'll try to test that. I don't know if I can get that much out of my uh, inverter, but uh, one of these days we're gonna test that also. The regular price for this battery is about $330, but right now, as of uh, July 7th, 2023, it is on sale for, I think, $314.49. And you might want to check in the, in the description down below because I think I'm going to have a coupon, so maybe you can get it even cheaper. So, and I, and I may actually be an affiliate, so you will be helping the channel. I uh, compared that to popular batteries on Amazon, and a lead acid sealed battery is like $212 and a AGM seal battery is like 279. So the price is not that far off of especially the AGM. AGM's like five to seven years. Uh, lead acid is like around four to five years of life. But the lithium batteries uh, claim, and we're, we're gonna find out because they haven't been, I, well, I think some have been tested, 
but their, their, their claim is 10, uh, 10 years of service, 150,000 cycles on this battery. Now, when you compare a lithium battery to a lead acid, if you have a 100 amp hour lithium battery, that usually equates to roughly two lead acid batteries at 100 amp hours because of, you can only use 50% of the rated capacity of a lead acid battery. So it's really a pretty, it's almost like you're getting two batteries. So the price is really not too bad, guys. And that life expectancy, if they go 10 years or better, that's pretty good. I do know in my motorhome, my, uh, my batteries last four, maybe five years of lead acid. And like I said, I have a, I just bought a 300 amp hour power queen that passed with no problems, 300, over 300 amp hours. And uh, that's gonna be going into my motorhome soon. Now, like I said earlier, uh, when I unboxed it, that the, the instruction booklet is really good, well written, and it has a lot of different ways you can hook this battery up. So if you're having any kind of problems of not knowing what you're doing or unsure of yourself, make sure you read that. And like I said before, if that still doesn't help, make sure you contact. They have a 24 hour service of, uh, on an ask desk. So try that out too, if, if you're having problems. Now the Mini 2 is 22% is smaller in length, 24% uh, smaller in width, that's the front to back. And then it's about a half an inch taller than their standard 100 amp hour battery. So pretty good savings if, you're, if you have a tight area that you need to put some, a nice battery in and this just might fit the bill for you guys. Now the Mini 2 has a higher energy density and what they're talking is weight versus pounds. And roughly that number is 65 versus 53 on the regular battery, the regular 100 amp hour battery. And lead acid's around 18. So it packs a, a lot of power in a small package. Now these Power Queen batteries can be mounted any direction you want to. If you need to mount it upside down, you can mount it upside down. If you need to mount it on its side, you want to maybe stack a couple on a little rack or something, you can do that. It's totally sealed, guys. It's not going to leak on you. This battery includes a battery management system. Now that, that helps uh, take care of short circuits, uh, undercharging, overcharging, high temp. It doesn't have the uh, cold weather temperature, but if you keep it inside your, uh, your vehicle that's heated, you shouldn't have any problems. And you can also do that on uh, your, if you have solar or something like that, sometimes some solar controllers will let you add that into the solar controller. Now Power Queen offers a five year warranty on these batteries, all their batteries, I think. Uh, and also they have four places that distribute these batteries around the US, the lower 49, like I, there's one in California, this thing got here within two days. And they usually say two to five business days. So that's pretty fast if they're in stock. So today what I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna charge the battery because these batteries supposedly are sent anywhere from 30 to 50% of the rate of charge, and that's for safety. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna charge the battery. My, my, I've got a uh, Victron charger. I'll put a link to that in the description also, guys, if you're interested. It does 10 amps. This that battery likes even up to 20 amps is what they actually recommend the highest setting is. Mine doesn't go that high, but Victron does make higher amperage uh, chargers. So, so I'm gonna charge it first to give this thing a fair test, and then we're gonna do a capacity test on it. And the capacity test should uh, let us know if this battery is up to snuff. So let's go, let's go charge it and do the test. All right guys, so here's the uh, battery. I'm getting ready to charge it. These are your eight millimeter bolts. It comes with, a, with two pairs, so that's nice. We mess one up. And then these little covers go over the top so you don't short them, little plastic covers non-conductive. Let me tighten those down a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to hook the charger to it. But so this is what we're going to actually test the battery capacity with. It has all the all the amp hours, watt hours, all that stuff on it. We'll show that to you later. Okay. So let's hook this up. Always be careful. Hook positive to positive, negative to negative, guys. So I'm going to pull this around here. Put these over. Put these over here. We're going to hook this here. Okay. We're going to hook this one here. Okay, so this is a Victron charger. It's a, it's a either three amps or 10 amps. We're gonna set it on 10 amps. So let's just plug it in. I'll bring up the app. Okay. We're gonna go back. And so right now it's showing 13.94 at 10 amps. And uh, it's showing bulk charge right now. All right, we'll wait for this thing to charge up now. All right, I fully charged the battery. And now we're gonna, I've got it hooked to the, to the capacity tester. I'm gonna plug it in, and then we're gonna set it at 120 watts. 
that should give us a 0.1c rating so if you can let me let me change this we're going to zoom in on this now now you can see the battery is at 13.5 volts now I will say it came to me about 30 percent charged um, so that was right with what they were saying that it would do so we're going to dial this up to about 120 so actually I'm going to uh, hold long press this and clear it so we're starting from scratch let's turn this on we're going to set it at uh, so let me bring it up with the fine adjustment one there we go uh, it's all calculated anyhow guys so there we go that's close enough so as you notice it dropped immediately down to 13.2 that's totally normal we're just going to go ahead and just bring 10 amps right at 10 amps and then we'll do the test right at 10 amps there all right i will check back every so many hours maybe every hour and just or every two or three hours it should take quite a while so i'm expecting somewhere around 10 hours all right, I'll check back later. All right, we're at uh, 59 minutes. And it shows 29.79 amp hour, or 29.8 ages now. So it looks like we're right on schedule. This will uh, be the three hour mark, and it will be, uh, what, 30, about 30 amp hours. All right, guys, our, our voltage is down to 12.4. We're nine hours into it, like nine hours and one minute. We're at 90.55 amp hours. So getting close. I uh, will we'll, I will check back in on this thing in the next half hour or so. We'll, we'll stop it at 102 if it makes it to there. So we're down to 11.7 11 volts. So it's, it's pretty much there. Uh, definitely past the 100 amp hour test. So that's awesome uh, from what I've seen I know my other one did the same thing it, it was the 300 amp hour I did actually uh, was over 300 also so power Queens doing it right let's see if it'll go to 102 and then we'll stop it we're almost at 1300 watt hours uh, 10 hours and 8 minutes so far Now this battery is actually what they said a 95% new battery. I, I, I guess that means that it's been out for testing before and sent back. So not too bad. There we go. So it's 102.02, 10 hours and 10 minutes, 1,302 watt hours. Or yes. All right. Now, Power Queen sells a large variety of batteries. If this battery wasn't something that works for you, you might check out their, their website because they offer a lot of different batteries. I know all the way up to at least 300 amp hours, maybe even more. And they have different types that are more modular. So you might want to check out their website. Now, I will also say that this battery would be pretty good for POTA because it only weighs uh, 20, 28 pounds or something like that. And if it's a little bit too big, they also sell a 50 amp hour for you guys that are doing POTA. Now, if you like the video, hit like. That helps people like yourself that are interested in content like this to find my channel. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, hit all. That way you'll get all my future videos. And I will have a second video out on this. We're gonna do a uh, test on it, uh, actually hooking it up to an inverter and see what this thing can do. So I'm Chuck, KK6USY for Ham Radio Adventures. Thank you for spending your time with me today. 73 all, hope to catch you guys on the airways.